right, the video for Chapter 9, Exercise 1. Uh, we're going to start out with the front view. And let me just show you right quick. The finished product here with a front view, top view, and an auxiliary view. Okay? And I've broken this down into several steps for you. First, we, we're going to start with the front view. And you're going to... You don't have to put the dimensions on it. I just put these on to uh, give you an idea how to begin. But get this front view completed using these dimensions. Go to your construction layer here. And if you don't have the construction, you should by now using the same template. But if not, you can come here and look at some of the previous videos. And you should have all of these different layers already in on your template but transfer the lines up everything you see corners for instance uh, construction line. I'll grab this corner transfer it up and you want to box everything in here and when we look at the book, we know that these dim dimensions here are half inch. So you're going to come in, come to the outside, offset inward a half inch, like that, like we show here. Okay. You also need to come here, and the book doesn't tell you, but we have this set at a half inch depth right here. And I know that that hole is 1.5 in diameter. So what I did, I offset this line a half inch in, and I created a temporary center line and offset it in each direction 0.75. So from this point to here is one and a half. Okay? I'm going to transfer everything up, every one of those points that you see here. Use your construction lines. All right. What I did, I went to center layer and I've created this center line here and offset that line in each direction three quarters of an inch and I have my I need to create an ellipse here so I copied this just to show you I, you don't have to do this but I copied this part up and you want to box this ellipse in Okay, I created a text here, so I'll offset three quarters of an inch in both directions. From here to there is three quarter, and from here to here is three quarter. Okay, now you can kind of see my box right here. That's my first ellipse, and I created a center mark right in the middle of this part, and I transferred this center line up from the front layer. So this gives me the center of the ellipse and I have a box here. So all you have to do is go to center ellipse, choose it, come here, click the center, click the longest section here and here. I'm going to delete delete it just to show you one time. So I'm going to go to Ellipse. I'm going to pick the center. Up to the top. Third place is here. And for this part, I want to come back down here find this corner, transfer this up, transfer that line, this longest line, transfer it straight up. And all I have to do, let me delete that, is copy this ellipse, left click, then I'm going to right click and grab it in the center. Actually, I'm going to grab it on the end and bring it over here and hit escape. 
now I can match properties because that is going to be hidden. And you, you're going to have to come back and trim this off. And this inside ellipse is going to be an object line. You're going to be able to see that. Okay. So, and you can read the text here how I did that. And again, here's the dimensions to create that boxed in area. And that's how you get your ellipse. Once you get that, you're going to come over here. And you're going to see, I'm going to try to trim this off. I'm going to click trim, left click, right click, trim that out. Then I'm going to come back to my object layer and go to ellipse again. Try that again. Let me just copy that. Copy this one. I'm going to put it right on top of the other one. Enter. Then you can go back and trim out. That ellipse. So you're going to be able to see that on the inside. Okay. Do the same thing here. Delete all your construction lines. You're going to end up with these three views. And again, um, I want to come over here and do that. I want to trim this out. And then you can redraw by copying. this over to there and again trim enter same deal here I'm gonna do it one more time give you some more practice I'm gonna copy this ellipse right click I'm gonna grab it right here move it over and I'm gonna trim trim left click then come out here, right click, and then left click again. Okay. Now, this is what your final drawing should be. Um, go ahead, create a block. Go to your title block here and insert it and turn this in for chapter 9.1.